Paramedics quickly rushed Ernest and Renee Gonzalez along with their eight-year-old son and two-year-old daughter to the hospital. They lost control. They lost control and, and by the time they knew it, they were underwater and some guy helped them turn the car it goes upside down. Family members tell me that Mrs. Gonzalez was traveling east on south just past Temperance when a coyote came across the road. She veered to miss it, but she overcorrected. You can see her tire tracks right here. Her car ended up flying over the canal, hit the pole, but then veered back into the canal upside down, and the two children were trapped in the back. That's when farm laborer Filiberto Jimenez showed up. I was on my way home and I saw the car underwater and a woman was screaming, my kids are in the car, so I jumped in to get them out. They were blue, they, were, they weren't breathing and it, 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 it took them a while to, you know, they, my, my son started pumping on the older one. At the same time, Jimenez worked to revive the two-year-old girl. She was blue when I pulled her out, so I started pushing on her stomach and chest and a lot of water started coming out of her mouth and she started crying. Music to the ears of everyone there. CHP officers say if it weren't for Jimenez and this off-duty Caltrans worker who helped pull the kids out of the car, this story would have a very different ending. The amazing thing is, is that it, when you're looking at the car, in my opinion, at any given time, that car could have slipped back over and, and probably crushed or drowned the two gentlemen that were helping. So hats off to them. They did a fantastic job. A job Ernest Gonzalez Sr. says he will always be thankful for. I'm happy that he was there. You know, it's a miracle. That's what it was. But thank you.